Hello, and welcome to Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract, and in this Code in 5 Minutes, we're going to take a look at noise. Isn't that fun? Noise. So let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com. We'll press on Code, and we will copy the template. I'll reduce this down, pop into um, an editor such as Adam, paste our template, come on up and get rid of the circle part. And now it says put your code here. We have a stage.update. We're in a template. Let's work on black today. So uh, here's where we're going to start our code when we start the timer. And there goes the timer. Woo -woo. Okay, so let's make a new slider. Const slider equals a new slider. We'll run this along a little bit uh, wider, so we'll make the bar length parameter be the stage width times 0.75. So part of the stage width will also add easing, so damp colon point uh, 1, 0 .1, 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.1. Okay, so that adds a little bit of damping to it, makes it smooth. We'll dot pose this at the bottom, so that's a zero centered, a comma, and say, I don't know, 40 from the bottom, maybe 50 from the bottom, and that is a center here and a bottom there. Do you like those new constants? I think that makes it a lot easier. Zero from the center, 50 from the bottom. That's new to 10.6.0. Um, now we'll make a tile. Const tile is equal to a new tile. We'll tile a rectangle. New rectangle. We'll make that 10 wide, maybe 12 wide, and 100 high. We'll make it blue. Uh, white. Blue. No, why not blue? Blue, and we will um, say that we want some number of them, like uh, 60 of them and one row and some spacing, just a little bit of spacing so that we can see those and we'll center that on the stage like so. Now let's have a look. We open in browser. All right, great. Slider and some blue things. Now let's do our noise. Const noise is equal to new noise. This gives us access to the, the noise property or methods that we need and we would do that in a ticker new ticker oh, we do it right on the ticker ticker dot add and we're going to call this arrow function in there each time we'll loop through the rectangle or the tile so that's a tile dot loop and we will get given a it doesn't quite look right uh, yeah, okay, a rectangle, a rect maybe, and we'll be given an I. Yeah, there we go, that looks better. So we're looping through the tile, getting the rect and an I, and we are going to get uh, let val, a noise value from the noise, noise dot simplex 2D. So there's uh, different types, but 2D will give us a height or uh, some sort of value, and then a change in time. So we'll base the height uh, and change in time uh, on the slider and I. And so this is the slider dot uh, current value, current value. And then this can be based on I, but I will be, the, the smaller this number is, the less change there is. And so we want to divide by something, like divide by 20, divide by 10, divide by 15, something like that. Let's try 15. Okay, so that gives us a value, and then we want to adjust the height of each rect. So rect.ska, we'll use the ska, we could use height if we wanted to. Rect.ska, we won't scale anything in the x, so we'll leave it at 1, and then we'll set it equal to the val times some amount, uh, 5. Let's try that. And let's see what we got now. Open a browser. Whoop, here's the browser. Refresh. Hmm. 
I think we didn't center the registration point of this. That's kind of interesting. So what's happening now is the scales coming from the top. Some of those scales are negative and some are not. So let's go on up and dot center reg that uh, tile rectangle and we get this. Ah, yes. Oh, what do you think? Not too bad. Now, it'd be nice to make that uh, tidy it up, but isn't that cool? Look at that. And that was made in five minutes. So let's stop that counter. Stop the counter. How'd we do? <laughs> um, I think we did it. Okay, well, do you want to tidy it up? I mean, there's a few things that we could add. Uh, shall we try? Why not, huh? We did it in five, no problem. So uh, let's um, have a look. Why don't we adjust the color a little bit? We could do something like a series of colors here, or we could get random colors. This is a Zim rectangle and a tile, so you could say blue, green, pink, like that. Uh, if you can spell pink, this would randomly get colors. Kind of pretty. <clears throat> we can also get them in a series by passing in a series. So just pass those into a series. Let's try applying a blend mode over top of it. So what we're going to do is down below here make a new rectangle there. that is the stage width and the stage height. And we will make it, well, it doesn't really matter the color. Dot add to. If we're going to, uh, maybe not the stage of a stage check, if we're going to apply a blend mode or a gradient as well, let's do a gradient and a blend mode. If we're going to apply a gradient to the tile here, we might want to go the width of the tile instead. So this would be, that way the gradient goes right from the edge of the tile to the other edge of the tile rather than going right across the whole stage width because our tile isn't the stage width. Tile dot width. Here. And we will then, we better center that on the stage like that. So this rectangle will be right on top of the tile. Do you want to see it? <laughs> oh, it's going to look, oh, we won't see it because it's black. Well, and now we won't see anything. It looks like there's just a hair left over. Sometimes that happens with the canvas. So there we've got a rectangle, the width of the tile. We're centering it on the stage and let's apply a gradient to that, so dot linear gradient, like so. And we can, these are the colors now, so we can go from blue to green to pink. And then these are the ratios. We'll start at zero, we'll go to 0 0.5 and then to one. And then here's where we start our line. This is gonna make the line zero, zero, and I guess uh, the tile dot width again, tile dot width and zero. So that makes a line going across the top of the tile and it will make a gradient there. You wanna see it now? So now we have a gradient going the width of the tile and then we will dot blend mode that. Um, difference, I think we'll do it. Difference. No, not difference. I always use difference. I'm such a hippie. Uh, multiply. Multiply. So these are the sort of your Photoshop type. Multiply. There we go. Blend modes that you can apply with bleh, the short chainable blend mode. Now this won't quite work, but it'll come close. All right, got that. It didn't blend mode anything on our tile, why not white? Um, let's see, one thing that we will need to do is make sure that we, um, we're on top of it, yeah, are we? Tile, yeah, we're on top of it, there's the loop. Uh, make sure that we put black in the background because you've got to, that, that will help. I'm not sure if that solves the problem completely. Um, so that's a new rectangle. We might think that the stage is black, but with blend modes, the stage is just sort of like, uh, it's, it's not included in the blend modes. 
So we put a rectangle stage width, comma, stage height here, and dot add two. Here we are. So that makes a black rectangle in the back, and that gets included in the blend mode. Let's see what we're doing now. There we are. See the difference? <laughs> and now we've got that sort of beautiful look. Isn't that cool? We've even applied the blend mode over the slider, which makes it look a bit more special. I love it. Let's open that up. F11. Cool. Now we don't have to have it cross over. Do you see how it's crossing over? That's kind of neat. It's because the, the noise gives a value between negative 1 and one. <laughs> this is turning into a bit of a Zen Explorer. <laughs> Sorry about that. So if we if we don't want that, we can if it goes between negative one and one, we would want to add one to it, and then it would go between zero and two. So we put that, we divide it by two, divide it by two, and that gets us a number between zero and one, and we see something like this. Nice. Now that doesn't cross over. And if we wanted a little bit more, 0.5, we could just make sure that it starts at at least a 0.5 scale. So now that opens it up a bit. If we said 1, we would open it up even more. That's starting at least at 1, and then the edges are being are being noised. <laughs> noised edge. I kind of like the 0 0.5. 0 0.5. And the other thing that you can change is this value right here. That uh, can can make quite the difference. Let's just divide by five, and you'll see we've got more more of a more wave. More wave. As a matter of fact, you can do something like stick. Uh, oh, jeez, I'm sorry. <laughs> How are you guys doing out there? <laughs> the code in five minutes plus another plus another ten. Const dial. Uh, dial lowercase is equal to a new dial. Wouldn't it be nice just to control that last bit? And that's going to go from zero to ten, I think, by default. We'll want to go a minimum at least of one. Min of one, and how about a max of 20? Something like that, and we'll dot, uh, ska that, we'll make it a little bit smaller. 0.6, dot pose it up in the top left-hand corner, so oh, I don't know, 100 over and 50 down. And using that dial, we can adjust this thing right here. So dial dot current value. So we'll use the dial's current value. We'll divide by that. Wouldn't mind setting the dial to some bigger amount as well to start and get look nicer. Dial dot current value is equal to 10. All right, let's have a look. <laughs> Code in five minutes plus. There's the little dial. And see what the dial's doing? Isn't that neat? Look at that. That's a gray dial. Perhaps a white dial would look better. Background color colon white comma. Should drop that down. How's it going? Nice, huh? Don't you love Zim? I love Zim. Woo! Okay, nice white dial. And see what we're doing? We're controlling the noise. So there we get more of a tube. We bring it this way, and we get more of a sharp wave. See what the easing is doing? Do you want to see the difference between that and the damping? So if we comment out the damping here and refresh, it's almost night and day, like jump, 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 and it doesn't do anything. Like it's like chop, 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 chop. So we bring in the damping on the slider, 
Now you could do that with ZimDamp as well and do it yourself, but we decided that it might be nice to provide that. You also don't have to use a slider. You could have used a dial to control that. You could have even used your mouse position. Then you would have brought in ZimDamp to damp your mouse position. And based on your mouse position, you could have used the proportion damp as well. The proportion of where you are here, damped, will we'll apply the movement just like the, the value of the slider applies the movement. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think that uh, that's good for a code in five minutes with... Uh, with um, Dr. Abstract here. What do you say? All right, we took a look at some noise. We were surfing the noise right on. Let's bring her back. Yeah, surf the noise. All right, woo -hoo -hoo. get that wave going right on, yeah.